This is a Leica M10 monochrome. It only shoots images in black and white. This is a Leica Q2 monochrome and it only shoots images in black and white. This is the oldest surviving photograph. It was made of a rooftop in France in 1826. It's black and white. So was everything else for a number of years. Color was available by 1907, but black and white was uh, sort of the default native format for photography. By the 1970s, color was easier to print and easier to shoot. Today, with digital cameras, color, well, it's now the default native format for photography. So why a camera that only shoots black and white? There are three arguments that I have in favor of monochrome images. Number one, the absence of color puts a layer of abstraction between you and the photograph. Therefore, number two, images represent only light and shadow. Therefore, number three, your pictures are dependent on composition in light much more than in color photographs. There's a subtle and intimate connection between your vision as a photographer and the viewer. When I shoot monochrome images, I think very differently than I do when I'm shooting color. And since the camera can't do color, well, there's no turning back. You've made a conscious decision when you picked up the camera. You're gonna see it through to the very end. One has to be very conscious of what is important in the picture. Is the subject bright and forward or is it ultimately going to be lost in shadow detail? Every element of the picture creates a balance and therefore is important. But again, you might ask, why shoot monochrome native in the camera? Why not just convert a color image in post-production? Well, the answer, higher detail and better sensitivity. You might not realize, but every digital camera is actually a monochrome camera. Color is done by using something like a Bayer filter. So this is essentially a filter. It sits on top of the camera sensor. Each pixel is assigned to a light response curve of either red, green, or blue. These three response curves are then processed to give us a color image that resembles what we see with the human eye. But because we put a filter on the sensor, we have slightly reduced the sensitivity and probably affected the detail. On a monochrome camera, there is no such filter. The sensor noticeably outperforms any color camera. Let's look at an example. This is an image shot with a color Leica at 12,500 ISO. A little bit of grain, but definitely still usable. But to show you the difference, this is the same image shot on the M10 monochrome at 12,500 ISO. It's considerably cleaner. And just for a point of reference, here's an image that was done on the M10 monochrome at 100,000 ISO. Higher detail and better sensitivity. I should also note that the M10 monochrome sensor has a dynamic range of just under 15 stops. When images come in straight from the card, they sometimes look a little bit flat, but this gives you the opportunity to interpret how you want the contrast to look specifically. The best thing about this is that shadow detail and highlight detail, it's all there. Again, higher detail, better sensitivity. So is a black and white or monochrome camera right for you? Well, it depends. Personally, I love black and white. I grew up favoring black and white film because it gave me choices in how I could actually develop the film. You can control contrast by changing the development time. I got to where I had this down and I could control it really well. I also loved it from an artistic viewpoint. Black and white has a simplicity that is absolutely beautiful. I have to admit though, the first hundred or so pictures I took with the M10 monochrome were terrible. I realized that I had become used to thinking in color over the years, and this is a different mindset when you visualize what you want the picture to be. I then rented the Q2 monochrome because it gave me an EVF, which was there to remind me that, hey, you're in black and white. 
and I fell in love with this camera almost instantly. I took it on a trip to see family a few weeks ago and I realized how much I love shooting black and white. I later came back to the M10 monochrome. Now thinking in black and white, I shot another few hundred images and I realized how special that camera truly is. It's fully manual, it's a rangefinder, and there's nothing like it with other cameras that are popular today. It's a very specific camera for a specific approach to photography, and it is fabulous. In fact, I want to make a case for the rangefinder camera, but, well, that's another video. Higher detail, better sensitivity. These cameras, unfortunately, are quite expensive. They serve a niche audience, so most camera companies, they won't make them fearing that they won't sell. You can have a camera converted to monochrome, which is certainly an option, but once you add up the expense of the camera and the conversion, I actually prefer to use a camera that's been optimized for monochrome and is still supported by the manufacturer. For me, these two cameras are like nothing else available. I've rented them both twice now. Should I make the leap? I'll keep you posted, but for me, there's definitely a case for monochrome. <laughs>